Good evening, I'm Mrs. Bowen and I'm helping you review for exam one. This is problem 10 of the review. It says write the equation of the line that passes through the origin and is parallel to the line passing through the points, oops, editing issue, uh, one, one, and three, negative five. Alrighty, so it says write an equation of the line. That's the key part. And it says that passes through these other two points right here, okay? We have these other two points that must pass through, and it has to be parallel. First, let's take and find the slope of the current uh, line or the, of the line of points that we have right here. So we have a line that passes through 1, 1, and 3, 5. So let's find the slope of that line. So that's going to be m is going to be equal to, our slope is going to be negative 5 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. So negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. 3 minus 1 is going to be 2. And so now I ended up with a slope that is equal to negative 3. So that is the slope of the line that passes through the points 1, 1 and 3, negative 5. Now what the question is, is it says I want uh, an equation of a line that is uh, passes through the origin and is parallel. The key part of the fact that we know right here it passes through, through the origin, that is a point. The coordinates of the point is 0, 0. Now that I have a point and now that I have a slope, I can easily write an equation of a line. So our, our point slope formula, again our point, let's see if that changed colors real quick, there we go. So our point slope formula is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So we have our point. Our point is the origin, 0, 0. We need a slope of this new line. Because it says that we are parallel to this other line, that means I'm going to have the exact same slope. If they're parallel, they're running in the exact same direction, and that means their slope, the rate of increase or the rate of decrease is identical. Okay, so now I have a point. My point is 0, 0, the origin. I have my slope, negative 3, because it has to be parallel to the other one. And all we have to do is plug in everything that we know into our equation. So we have y minus 0, because that's my 0 there, or my y, is equal to, oh my computer, there we go, uh, negative 3, let's see if we can keep it the negative there, uh, multiplied by x minus 0, because my x coordinate is the point uh, is the uh, number zero. So we'll just simplify this. So we end up with y is equal to uh -huh, negative 3x. And that is our final answer. If I could stop that. There we go. There we go. Right there. So y equals negative 3x is the slope, or I'm sorry, is the equation of the line that is parallel to the line that passes through the points 1, 1. 3, negative 5, and that is parallel. Alrighty, let me know if you have any questions.